Thank you, Professor Conan. Uh, my name is David Kang, and I have been asked to talk on uh, my preferred choice for treating a myopic presbyopic patient by combining corneal waveform guided presbyopic in the near eye with plex in the dominant eye in a 50 year old presbyopic. And using bilateral LASIK, we published this Journal of Cataract and Refractive Surgery in early 2023. This is a far cry from traditional monovision when these two very different images need to be fused, numbing the visual cortex, causing cross blur, and eventual unacceptance. What is important is binocular vision. And this is published data in 2023. We published in JCRS with bilateral LASIK. 100% of binocular were seeing distance vision 2020. Near vision 100% were seeing J2. With CLEX and LASIK combination for the three month follow up, again 100% were seeing binocular cumulative vision better than 2020. So, in conclusion, Presby Max in the non dominant eye combined with CLEX in the distance size is safe and effective for the management of presbyopia in this population. Thank you very much. Excellent. Excellent. So very good. That's, that, that's great because, I, and I understand correctly, you use two different technologies, CLEX and LASIK. Yes, sir. All right, thank you. Super talk, thank you very much. So today I'll be presenting our study retrospective validation of personal corneal waveform guided TPRK cluster utilizing innovative corneal topography prediction software. Transepithelial photorefractive keratectomy or TPRK is a valuable option for eyes with a history of primary laser vision correction designed to predict cluster keratometry and corneal hyoid aberrations uh, if after axillary laser ablation. 